Hi everybody, this is Miss Sheen and Miss Padmini with the admirable help of Mr. Steven and this is your teachable moment. What you have in front of you is an 8 by 6 rectangle. Sorry, 7 by 6 rectangle. Let's count it to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how many rows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we want to find out is how many little squares make up this rectangle. So we write it as seven by six. And we want to find out what does that equal. And it's also read as 7 times 6. And we can add 7 6 times, or we can add 6 7 times. Let's count by 7 first. It's 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. Let's count by 6s and see if it's the same. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. So if it's seven sixes or six sevens, either way, it is 42. And you can count for yourself to make sure. And once you're sure that that's correct, please remember to remember seven sixes are 42. Six sevens are 42. Now, let's see if we add one more column to get 8 sixes. We're adding a row, a column of 6. So now we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns and six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. So let's write that down as eight times six, which is the same as six times eight, and that's equal to and I can tell you what it is because I remember to remember. I remember that eight sixes are 48. And you can count it by eights. You can count it by sixes. It's going to come out. Eight sixes are 48 and six eights are 48. Now, once you know that for sure, please remember to remember. Six eights, 48. Eight sixes, 48. And got one more to show you today, which is going to be, we're going to add one more row. Let's add a row to the bottom of our rectangle. And this will give us eight columns, like we have already, and seven rows. It's going to be eight by seven, or eight times seven to know how many little squares are in the rectangle. So we can count by eights, in which case it will be, let's count by eights. It's going to be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. Let's count by sevens just to make sure. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and 56. It's the same. And I know those numbers because I remember to remember. So always make sure, and once you know that that's the answer, please remember to remember that 7 times 8 equals 56. And 8 times 7 is also 56. Now, we're going
going to um, take our multiplication chart and we're going to fill it in. Let's take our multiplication chart and we're going to fill it in with the new rectangles that we just solved. So we know that 7 times 6 is 42. If I have 7 boxes of 6 cookies in each box, that's going to be 42. Now, if you have six boxes of seven cookies, six boxes, seven cookies, also 42. And then we figured out that if I have eight boxes of six cookies, that's 48 cookies. And if I have six boxes of eight cookies, that is also 48 cookies. And lastly, seven boxes of eight cookies is 56. And eight boxes of seven cookies is also 56. So these ones particularly, please just remember to remember. Seven sixes are 42, six sevens are 42, eight sixes are 48, Six eighths are 48, seven eighths are 56, and eight sevens are also 56. Thank you very much, everybody. This is Ms. Shing and Ms. Padmini with the admirable help of Mr. Stephen, and that was your teachable moment.